ことを言うな Don't worry, Hanamaru. I can help you. If you're lost just like Hanamaru, I can help you out. So, as we know, Love Life Squad Festival All Stars is gonna release their application on the September 26th. So, that's only five days from today. And if you wanted to download that, you probably need a Japanese App Store account. While I don't have an Android, I do have an iPhone, so I can tell you. How you can get this app on your phone if you do not have an account in Japan, because you would need one if you want to get it. So let's go over the tutorial. So, the first step when getting this is that you need to have an email account that has not been associated with an Apple account, so no iTunes or whatever. So, the first step, let's go make one. So, I'm just going to use Google. So, I'm going to pick one and let's start generating what it's going to be with a name, username. And password. Just remember for the password, it's gotta be following the requirements, which is states right there. For username, just make sure it's not being used. So I'm just gonna be using that name. Once you have finished all of them, you will be able to move on to the next step. Sometimes people might get the passwords not matching, so make sure you get those correct before you move on. Once we're done, we're gonna hit next. Now, we only need to fill out what's mandatory, so birthday, so I'm just gonna make it up. Because it doesn't matter, and then whatever, I don't care about gender either, so I'll just say, ran not to say, it doesn't make a difference. And let's move on. Now let's just keep clicking it down arrow until we're allowed to get an I agree, and then we'll be able to make our account. So now our email account is ready, and now we can use this email account to make an Apple account. So now let's go ahead and move on to the second step. Let's go to apple.com or some site that lets us create. The Apple account, which this should be able to be done on your phone as well, but I'm going to do it on here. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and click on this to create an Apple Store account. So when I first open it up, there is a section where I can create yours now. So I'm going to go create a new Apple account just to make sure that you guys remember that once we are filling this out, we want to set the country and region of Japan if you are trying to get Japanese applications. If you're trying to do something else, like if you want an Italian app or something, set it to Italy. But this helps you get apps that are exclusive in that region. So for that, we'll make sure it says Japan. For the rest of them, it doesn't matter. You can make up birthdays and just make sure you put the email in for your Apple ID. Make sure your password follows all of these requirements before you move on. So A more characters, upper lowercase letters, and at least one number. So make sure you follow that. After that, we want to answer the security questions. So make sure you answer all of them. There is a two character limit, so it's got to be long in that. And then we're going ahead and click next. And then we're going to get email. So make sure you have your email still open. And just copy and paste that code. And then we will have it verified. So now let's go ahead and click on that. And now we currently have created our Apple account. So we got part of this done. So now I'm going to finish this off on my iPhone. So I have opened up the App Store right here. But I have not signed in as you can see in the top right. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with the information that I used. Once I am done, I'll click sign in. And now it's going to give me a prompt that says I haven't used it yet. So it's going to require me to sign in again to just sign in as before. Now, the next thing they're going to do is we're going to have to fill the rest of this information. So take a look at this. This is, I guess, the hardest part of it is you need to make up information. That is going to be able to complete your Apple ID. You don't need payment verification or anything, but the billing address is a little bit more difficult. So, I don't know, you could probably just copy this or change something a little different. Make sure if you use a zip code, it's actually in that area, like Japan. So, I just searched one up and a phone number, you could just make it up, just have the right thing in the front, and you're probably going to be fine. Once you're done, you can go ahead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into the store and search for the game that I'm looking for, which is Love Live. That's all I really need to search up, and it's the first thing that shows up right here, just like it would in any of the different app store locations. So, this is the app that I'm looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and click Get. So, you could also use this to get any of the other applications that you want. 
when you're going to get here click confirm log in once again and then you are done and that's all you got to do if you want to use this to get the, the life school out festival one for japan you can do the same thing except you will be actually be able to download this remember this is only a pre-order because the application is not out yet so you can't get it yet so it's going to download when it is available and that's all you have to do not that bad right so if you guys want to get that application without waiting for an english version then you can if you want to use this for other applications in japan you can do it if you want to get it an application that's not in japan or the one you currently have well then make sure when you set your region it's the region that you want i don't think you can change it so you might have to make a new one for each region but that's all you gotta do so that's all you gotta do guys so let me know what you guys think about this tutorial and hopefully this helped you guys out and i hope hopefully this will get, let you get the game and hopefully this makes you even more excited the only problem is if you don't understand japanese then you're gonna have a little bit of a struggle so welcome to the struggle bus just like i'm on it Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.